Today we'll be talking about the Chase Elliott Elf. I'll be playing it through a Bergantino HDN212 with a Federa um, Standard Monarch Classic. For starters, this is a little bit heavier than I thought it would be. Uh, I think it's the integrated power supply. It feels really comfortable and really solid. I've owned the GK MB200 before. Uh, this has significantly more heft to it and it feels like it's made a little bit better and it actually pushes um, a little bit more as well. So people have complained a little bit about the amount of power that you can get out of this. Uh, like I said, I'm using this with a um, 350 watt Bergantino at 8 ohms. When I pair it with the other, I really feel like uh, when I add the appropriate amount of uh, gain and volume that I'm pushing these two to their limit. Uh, which is a good thing. You know, I feel like I could play some of the, the venues that I've played around the city with the appropriate amount of sound reinforcement and still be able to be heard um, around the stage. So let's turn the volume up to, let's turn the gain up to um, about nine o'clock and just roll up the volume. That's with the, uh, the, the gain set at three. I know the camera's going to compress a little bit, but if I were to roll up the gain to like uh, two o'clock. You know, it, it delivers the fundamental cleanly and clearly. Um, and I feel like there's a, a lot more headroom that I have, um, you know, in this particular amp. Again, that's with the um, gain set at about 2 o'clock and the volume set at about uh, 9 o'clock. If you roll it past that, it gets you into a distorted tone. Some people like, some people don't like. I think adding the appropriate amount of EQ, um, you know, will kind of get you there. So let's talk a little bit about the EQ. So one of the first things I like to do is see if I can get that Marcus Miller mid scoop tone. So I'm going to roll down the mid all the way um, and boost the treble and boost the bass just a touch. I never feel that I can quite get there without, um, you know, rolling back the tone on the bass a little bit. So, uh, from an EQ perspective, um, I used to try to play with my amp flat, uh, but if you play a passive bass, uh, you may want to put an EQ pedal in front of this in order to, um, you know, be able to get the, the full sonic range. Um, I don't necessarily think that the, the EQ will take you, you know, into some of those extreme tones, however. jazz tone. Um, I think if you have an active bass or you add a EQ pedal, um, it'll get you there. The last thing that I want to discuss is how this handles pedals. On my primary gig, I play a Line 6 Helix, which gives me, you know, the ability to dial up different, style of, different styles of amps and different um, EQs and reverbs so that I can basically match to the song that I'm playing. I find that this particular head, uh, better than some, actually responds very well. Uh, I can plug it directly into the, um, the, the input, set the amp flat, and I can get every character that I need to out of that amp um, through these Birkin you know, cabinets as I can through uh, a PA system or when I run the direct. So I'm very happy about that. The direct out is nice, the headphone out is nice, 
Overall, I'm really pleased with the, the characteristic of this particular head. Hit me up if you have any questions. Thanks.